People on 1 Southwest Albuquerque Street are hoping for some peace and quiet tonight. Last night, a robbery suspect was shot and killed, and today, police blocked off the entire road searching for suspects in a separate homicide. KOET Action 7 News reporter Kristen Swanson has reaction from neighbors. Vincent Saavedra has lived in this Southwest Albuquerque neighborhood for 15 years. It's normally a quiet street, but the last 24 hours paint a much different picture. Well, it's been pretty, pretty crazy. I mean, uh, yesterday was that shooting. A shooting at this Dairy Queen on Isleta that left a man dead. Police say he tried to rob the ice cream stand, and an employee pulled a gun and shot him. Neighbors say on a Friday night like tonight, this is a place to be to take the grandkids for a treat. But tonight, you can see it's still closed up. They all walk up there, and the kids walk back and forth. It's a quiet neighborhood. And then today. I've never seen anything like unusual on this street, period. Bernalillo County Sheriff's deputies blocked off a street right around the corner. Action 7 News was first on scene. Deputies took four people into custody and later charged these two, Frankie Escabel and Samia Rodriguez, with murder. Kenneth Perez was shot and killed Tuesday after a fight near a gas station on Coors. But even after the crazy week in his neighborhood, Saavedra says his family isn't rattled. It's part of life, you know. I mean, life goes on and things happen and we have no control over that. Kirsten Swanson, KOAT Action 7 News. The other two suspects police questioned today were later released. Neighbors we spoke to say they saw them go back to their home early this evening.